Hello, hello. So, do you have artist block, or do you, or do you have creative block? Do you need more creative confidence? I have a book for you, The Artist's Way. So, oh my goodness, it came. Look at this. This is the 25th anniversary copy. It came out 25 years ago. Well, it's still a very good book and it's a 12 week journey. Let's see, it's a spiritual path to higher creativity. A spiritual path to higher creativity. I love that. And it's a 12 week journey. A 12 week journey that um, has um, exercises and it's like a, it's a, it's a book slash workbook. So for those of you who might be wanting to do the artist's way, to help clear up their creative block or artist block or want to get more creative confidence. I'd like to show you how I've set up how I've set up my um how I've set it up cuz um different people set it up different ways. And I did it in a bullet journal and I just like to give a shout out to um I can't say the name of her channel, but I will link it right down at the top of the top of the description box and I'm probably gonna put it in I'm gonna put it in text right down here I'm gonna put the, the her channel name right in the um, text right down here because I can't think of the name of it right now but I just like to give a shout out to her channel because she helped me figure out how to set this up I, I did go off on my own way but in the very beginning um, there are some things that I um, used that that were helpful that she suggested and how she set how she set it up when she did the artist way so I have just, each week I'm going to um, do a review on how the week went and it's a 12-week journey and I am just nearing the end of week one and going to give a, uh, an update and a review on week one. So uh, as I said, it's a 12-week journey that you actually work through. There's um, tasks and activities for each week to help you gain creative confidence. And it's not just geared towards visual artists. It could be geared towards writers, musicians, anybody who wants to increase their creative confidence or get rid of or work through their creative block. So I have set up, I'm using two, I'm using two notebooks. I'm using spiral bound bullet journal and a ring binder, 3D ring binder. So the way I've, done this is okay um, um, this this is a quote here was a quote that I, I just liked from the book and it's not by the author it's actually by Carl Jung and here I just use clouds and each time each week when I complete a week I will color in the cloud with like a highlighter color like so that I can see through it and so each week has a theme in the book so week one is safety recovering a sense of and it's re actually the book is about recovering your creativity so week week one is recovering a sense of safety week two is recovering a sense of identity week three is recovering a sense of power Week four is integrity. Week five is possibility. Week six is, oh, let me read this, abundance. Week seven is connection. Week eight is strength. Week nine is compassion. Week 10 is self-protection. Week 11 is autonomy, and week 12, the final week, is faith. Okay, so I just uh, photocopied, and these are the basic principles. I highly recommend that you read the two chapters, the two, chapter, the two chapters before chapter one. They come before chapter one because it explains the basic principles of this. Uh, there's a contract to sign to commit yourself to the 12 weeks um, their art date is one of the cornerstones 
the corners um, the cornerstones are the morning the morning pages which is writing which is stream of thought writing and you write three pages and it adds I found it adds up to about 20 minutes of writing each day and a side note is that I recently learned that people that do fifth at least 15 minutes of writing a day have um, stronger immune systems so that's an interesting fact so I found that the writing three pages front and back front and back of three pages in a spiral notebook and I do that in a different notebook I don't do that in here I did that actually I have a third place that I do the writing in my morning pages I do that in another spiral notebook and um, you're never supposed to reread re them or anything it's just can be it can be like illegible writing that's what mine is and I just write out my thoughts with stream of thought writing and mine adds up to about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes actually um, artist date ideas. That's another cornerstone of this artist date. So these are artist date ideas. The artist date that I did this week, it's supposed to be for two hours. You do an artist date is I just did a creative play date where I did art, but didn't have to worry anything about what it looked like. It was just creative play. Uh, these are some of the affirmations that she suggests in the book because in week one you need to work with affirmations and blurts and I haven't figured I haven't um, written these at my favorite affirmations I'm gonna write that my favorite affirmations these are some of the affirmations that she there's ten of them that she suggested but you can do whatever positive affirmations you want that revolve around your creativity and this is where the three ring binder comes in fact so here uh, on the pink pages, I wrote out affirmate my affirmations. So each day you work with one or two affirmations and you write them ten times. So here we see affirmation number one, write it, repeat it ten times. And then on the purple pages, I have written the blurts. The blurts are what she calls your negative self-talk. So when you when you say that when you write this positive affirmation, what is the negative self-talk that goes on in your head? And you write all those blurts. And you can see affirmation number one got a lot of blurts. Then you have to, for each one of those negative blurts on the yellow pages is how I do this. On the yellow pages, I ants. I wrote a positive affirmation. You have to write a positive affirmation for each one of those negative blurts. So that's what the yellow pages are for. And each day you work with one or two affirmations. That's what week one is basically about, a lot about the affirmations and the negative self-talk. So here's, um, I, might ha I might have a theme for each week, I'm not sure, but um, here I just you did hot air balloons, but I don't carry that out throughout my pages. But um, here's week one, recovering a sense of safety, and I started it on August 16th, yeah, August 16th. So I should be finishing up in November about. Week one, a key concepts. I just wrote down, I went through and the, the key concepts. Um, t week one, tasks. She gives 10 tasks. She doesn't, she says, you know, we don't have to do all 10. She, she, she hopes that you get about 50% of the tasks done. Just only 50%, but I have a lot of time. So I, I actually did most all of them and I checked them off. And um, here I did something because I was doing something else with um, working with creativity this week and an, an online free workshop and I just wrote a letter to perfectionism and that that kind of ties in with this book but it doesn't it's not exactly what this book was talking about but I actually wrote a letter this online art workshop that was free talked about writing a letter to perfectionism so I wrote a letter to perfectionism Let's see here. This is one of the tasks. Let me see what's this. Oh, to it's something like to somebody who was a monster in your past, to who was a who was a monster to your create creative being, um, write a letter to them. And for me, it was myself. I was my biggest monster, actually. There was nobody else that I could really uh, blame, or nobody really affected me. Affected me. My my parents actually were very um, encouraging. Um, five. One of the I didn't fully do this one. I kind of wanted to put pictures here, but I didn't want to draw them. F 
five, it was kind of like five lives. If you could live five other lives, what would they be? And I hear I was gonna, if I could cut out, my printer's not working right now, so I would print out pictures. I would have made a collage here of the five lives that I would want to lead. Oh, to champions, in, they do like a, she does like a time travel. One of the tasks is a time travel where you go back and you, you write letters to your, to one of your enemies and to your creative being in the past, but also one of your champion to some to all one or all of your champions to your creative being in the past. And mine was my mother. I letter to my thank you letter to my mother and a thank you letter to my dad because they both were big encouragers of my creativity. Okay. Um, oh, she says to write. Uh, also had the idea uh, writing out. Um, one of the big one of the nice compliments or one of the thing one of the nicest things that happened in your past that supported your creativity um post them like around where your, your work area is i'll do that but i also put them in the book but also and then there's check-in too i haven't done check-in i call my she calls it the sensor that that a negative self-talk who's in charge of your negative self-talk that person is that voice inside you that's doing the negative self-talk that she calls that the sensor I, I people call it the inner critic I like to call it the inner critic or the mean queen so I drew a picture of the mean queen and in, in, in my writing said she's not gonna be in charge anymore she's not gonna run the show and here's the one of the monsters from my past and actually the monster comes from inside of me that would destroy my positive affirmations and always just make the negative self-talk be emphasized and the negative self-talk voice would be so much bigger than my positive affirmations and so these are the the two that i'm going to hang these up somewhere the two compliments of my creative my creativity in the past and then the opposite to the the opposite of the mean queen is the fairy godmother the fairy godmother of love magic positivity and possibility and who supports my creativity so i i wrote in the writing i said the mean queen's not going to run the show anymore it's going to be the, my fairy godmother who's going to be running the show now so i hope that was helpful um and I hope that you will follow me along week by week or get something out of this, of watching these videos. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Definitely let me know. And also, if you're going to be following along or what you think about the artist way, if you've done it in the past, please let me know. Bye.